we didn't have a history in the West with gurus or teachers. This is brand new, totally brand new. We, I mean, there's ministers in a church, but where's the model in the West for some kind of spiritual teacher mm -hmm. that, that people are supposed to actually surrender their own ego in the name of coming into a higher sense of self that the teacher represents. Mm -hmm. So that tradition is, is honorable, except when the teacher gets you to abandon your own self integrity right. and give the authority to him to send your kids away to school, to marry this person and not, you know, not that person right. to tell you what to eat, what to wear, how to go to the bathroom, uh, where to live on and on and on. And so my general looking back, he was able to hold us with such, um, uh, what, I don't know. He was able to, to pull this whole thing off because the yoga that he presented, um, was so, uh, masculine focused. All the yoga was to get us out of our bodies. It was the drive. It was the keep up. It was the martial arts, the spicy foods. I, I wrote this in a post, the spicy foods, the, um, sending the kids away to India to harden you. I mean, you were one of them. I didn't go. To oh, you didn't go. That's right. You didn't go. Right? I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Your kids went though. My kids went, but you went away to New Mexico, didn't you? Um, no, I didn't go away anywhere. I just went to, uh, you know, the children's camp and ladies camp for a couple weeks here and there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, children's camp was an example of yeah. subjecting the kids to some pretty extreme situations. Yeah. The so there was, mm -hmm. there, there was in 3HO, there was never stillness. There was never presence. Yeah. There was his presence. It was always this forward motion, 18 hours a day of, of, activity and, and again it was all masculine push without the feminine stillness and, and the, the, um, the the connection to the body and to the emotions so whenever we were we were trained if someone asks you how you are you're supposed to say great even if you're god knows what <laughs> um, yeah. i think what you're saying is just such such an important, you know, f flag in the, in the post yeah, yeah. Um, because the feminine, you know, was used as a subversive tool and yeah. yet there was actually no feminine energy in the practice at all. As you're saying, there's no stillness at all. And yet there was yeah. these teachings of like, oh, the feminine, you know, you, the, you know, you need the woman to get to God. And so, you know, and I, as I was a child, I remember thinking, gosh, this is really backwards. He's saying, well, women are 10 times greater to yeah. God. And so therefore men need help. So women serve men. And I remember thinking, gosh, that's a little back. That's something off there. And he's telling yeah. people to not have any sex. That's got to be wrong, you know? And yet then everybody around us was all having so much sex. Everybody yeah. was sleeping with everybody's wives. And there was all sorts of affairs going on all the time. So I think that the point you make about what he's saying and what's happening, the incongruency of it, the the what being told something and in plain sight it's opposite what i've named that recently is something like we were taught to deny our reality